enough all the mirrors in Versailles. Look at how pretty. Wow. That's 11 years ago. Do you guys believe that? We have a visitor coming. <laughs> So early, let's do this. Good morning vlog, wow. Time check, 7.26 in the morning here in Paris. Outfit of the day. I didn't wanna wear a blazer today because I know from yesterday all I did was basically hold it in my bag because I just walked. The whole city was so hot. But right now it's super cold. I'm waiting for line six to get here. The problem with doing anything around the Eiffel Tower is that there's no metro so you're either gonna have to bus or walk and the meeting point is so near the, um, the Eiffel Tower so we'll see how I get there it's gonna be metro and by foot and the tour starts in less than one hour also I'm wearing my Joe Hawaii Ride Snow Butterfly earrings last night was amazing I didn't do a proper sign off at the end of the night because it was like 12 30 at night when I was walking back from the metro stop to my accommodations and I was just trying to get to where I was needing to be without being outside by myself walking the streets alone in a different country. I tried to be kind of mindful with that. I did it though, but um, I think the metro is coming and it's gonna be a long metro ride. I think I have to go to the other end of the line. I think it's like 20 minutes. So here we go, give this video a big thumbs up. Well, that was a 20 minute metro ride. I was able to get a seat, so I sat after one stop, so that's not that bad. It was very packed. So it is uh, 7.49 in the morning. I'm wearing my vintage blouse, I believe. I got this from Los Feliz Flea, I believe, from a vendor there. I really, really love this blouse a lot. And I'm wearing this vintage hat that I got from Arizona. I believe Phoenix, Arizona. So that's the look and I'm just wearing my waterproof boots and pants. I, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to bring my blazer because once the sun comes up, it's going to be warm and I'll be carrying it and I'm not trying to have extra weight on me today. Also, I don't have my tripod with me because that won't be allowed in Versailles. So I'm not bringing it. And I will go to a very popular place after for tea time which I'm super excited and then we have the big movie premiere for Yes Theory tonight so it's gonna be very fun so let's walk to the meeting point if there's some kind of cafe I can stop along the way to get some kind of pastry and a hot drink that would be good this is the vibe of the morning look at how pretty a bit chilly but we're going on a brisk quick walk here we go Beautiful, never gets old. Look at that. Top of the Eiffel Tower. Almost at the meeting point. So chilly. And guess what? There's a pastry shop right here. Let's go. I have just a few minutes until I have to meet at the meeting point. It's the only French pastry shop that I came across on this little walk. Let's go. Let's get a lot of tourists in this place because of the meeting point. This is literally right across the street of the meeting point. Take a look at this. Wow, mm, these beignets are calling me. Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Literally, it's like right across the street from the meeting point. I got three things and this must be my small group. Let's look at this. Apricot and I got beignet and a croissant boat filled with Nutella. The history of the Palace of Versailles starts at the 17th century. It was first a hunting lodge, then a seat of power, and finally, from the 19th century onwards, a museum. Composed of the palace, the gardens, the park, the Trianon estate, and several buildings in town, today the estate of Versailles spreads over more than 800 hectares. I was most excited to see the Hall of Mirrors, Queen Marie Antoinette's apartment, and of course, the gardens. But when he died, his son Louis XIV was only five years old.
Tons of people though. I'm in the Hall of Mirrors in Versailles. Look at how pretty. Wow. I did for this small group which was actually a big group small guided tour it was very short it's now 11 o'clock and I have three hours to go and do whatever I want whether it's to spend the whole time in the garden which I'm heading there now or I can leave this area and go across the street and see what the town looks like and maybe eat there or walk around so three hours and then I'll catch the bus back to Paris Well, when was the last time I was in France? The only way I was able to figure it out really quickly was looking at my history of my Airbnbs and it was back in 2011. That's 11 years ago. Do you guys believe that? So 11 years ago, I was obviously still interested in adventure and food, gardens and parks, but I never came to Versailles. So I said, you know what? I have to make the time this trip to come and see Versailles and I'm glad I did. It's really nice. Shop. I'm trying to see if there's anything nice. Look at the beautiful postcards. So pretty. The Hall of Mirrors. Let's see what else I can find. Section. I love like the gift shops for all these landmark places, palaces and such. So cute. Mm -hmm. The jewelry section. Let's see what I was looking for. The magnets. Hmm. Maybe this one. This is my favorite. I'm eating my croissant with Nutella. The beignet with Nutella and the apricot pastry I ate in the queue while I was waiting to check in for my day. So I couldn't vlog that. But as you see, there's a lot of people here in the gardens. I'm gonna walk around. It's gonna be very hard for me to get a photo of myself here. One, the sun is so high right now. Like, take a look at this. And two, I couldn't bring my tripod with me to here because None of that is allowed here and I'm by myself. So who's gonna take my picture? So I'm just gonna capture as much as I can for you guys. The gardens is really big. So I don't know how much I can cover by foot. I'm not gonna take the golf court. I would love to see the surrounding areas. Here it is, I can't believe. Let's see as much as I can. Just a morning stroll in Versailles, right? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk to the end right over here just to say that I went that deep into the gardens and then turn around. Wow. I've been dreaming of coming back to France and coming to Versailles. So cool to finally be here. And look at this, it's perfect weather. I'm gonna waste my time sitting down and eating with such short time I have in Versailles. So I don't know about sitting down and enjoying a meal. But I will go and walk to the end of this and look left and right and then do a turnaround. It's a lot of walking. I was curious to see what it looked like left and right at the bottom of this. And 
It's so beautiful. You could definitely spend days here just exploring, sitting, relaxing, and just soaking it all in. So beautiful. Colors, so pretty. So beautiful. I could literally just like sit here with a hammock or like a cup of tea. So beautiful. So big. This area is. Take a look. This is where we are now. So I barely went anywhere. As you see, it goes all the way to the end there. I'm like right in the center. an hour and a half left until I go back to Paris by bus. I spent four euros on this strawberry soft serve and I'm enjoying just being by the water, looking at all the different uh, large birds that are in this area and just kind of just taking it all in. I could have easily chosen any restaurant here but I'd rather be like literally out here enjoying this than sitting in a restaurant and not having like an amazing view like this. Comment down below if you've ever been to Versailles and would you spend your time sitting here by the water, maybe having a little picnic or a little ice cream treat. I think this is like the best way to just kind of take a moment from the busyness of Paris. Soft surf break is over. Time to walk all the way back. I'm so happy I chose today to spend some time here. I'm a little walking and then I'm gonna turn around. Just wanted, to see, just wanted to see for myself what was outside of the palace. So pretty. We are back in Paris and I think I'm gonna take the bus for tea time. And then we'll see if I can go back and change to something comfortable for the movie premiere. I ended up walking about 30 minutes to get here because the bus would take too long. There's no metros around the Eiffel Tower and I think I see a queue. So, let's see how long of a wait this is. <laughs> 